You are all fair, O Mary. You are fair, O Mary. And the original stain is not in you. And the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You are the honor of our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary. O Mary. Virgin most prudent. Mother most merciful. Pray for us. Intercede for us with our Lord Jesus Christ. In your conception, O Virgin, you were immaculate. Pray for us to the Father whose Son you have born. Let us pray. God, by the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin, you prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son. We beseech you that as in view of the death of that Son you preserved her from all stain of sin, so you would enable us being made poor by her intercession to come to you. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And now for our final reading from the writings of St. Maximilian Mary Kolbe who, after the definition of the Immaculate Conception, sought to persuade everyone to incorporate the mystery of the Immaculate Conception into his life and to incorporate that into the life of the Church and indeed into the life of every person conceived of woman. Immaculate Virgin Mother, to thee I turn in humble prayer. Grant that I may praise thee, O Holy Virgin. Give me strength against thine enemies. The Immaculate appears in this world without the least stain of sin, the masterpiece of God's hands full of grace. God, the Most Holy Trinity, beholds the lowliness, that is, the humility, the root of all her other virtues, of his handmaid, and does great things for her, he the Almighty. God the Father gives her his own Son to be her Son. God the Son descends into her womb, and God the Holy Spirit forms the body of Christ in the womb of this pure virgin. And the Word was made flesh. The Immaculate becomes the Mother of God, the fruit of the love of God in his Trinitarian life, and of Mary the Immaculate is Christ the God-Man. Who is the Immaculate? To this abrupt question, it is not possible to give a satisfactory answer because this mystery transcends our human intelligence. She is the Mother of God and her name is the Immaculate. When God showed himself to Moses, he said of himself, I am the one who is. In other words, I am being itself. When St. Bernadette asked the most blessed mother her name, Mary replied, I am the Immaculate Conception. Such is the Immaculate defined in her own words. But what does the expression Immaculate Conception mean? The word conception tells us that she is not eternal, that she had a beginning. Immaculate tells us that from the first instant of her existence there never was in her the least conflict with God's will. The Immaculate is the most perfect of all creatures. She was Immaculate because she was to become the Mother of God. She became the Mother of God because she was Immaculate, Mother of God. The human mind cannot grasp what God is. Neither can we comprehend the dignity of the Mother of God. It is easier to understand a title like Servant of God, Daughter of God, is more difficult to grasp. But Mother of God transcends our minds completely. God calls creatures into being when he creates them. Then, in their movement of return to God, these creatures draw near to him and come to resemble their Creator more and more. God comes to his most perfect creature, the Immaculate, and the fruit of their love is Jesus Christ, the mediator between the Creator and all creatures. True knowledge of the Immaculate can only be acquired in prayer. The purer a soul is, the greater efforts it makes to avoid sin. And if it does happen to sin, it tries its best to rise from sin and to make up for its fault by love. The more humble it is and the more spirit of penance it shows, the more and better will it get to know the Immaculate. We praise and invoke you, O Immaculate Conception, Mary, Mother of God, Perpetual Virgin, Holy Queen assumed into heaven. We greet you, Daughter of the Eternal Father, Mother of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Holy Spirit, Temple of the Most Holy Trinity. We hail you, Immaculate Lady, eternally predestined by God to be the Mother of Mercy the mediatrix of all graces. 
in your freedom from all stain of sin, and in your fullness of grace, we contemplate the perfect image and first flowering of the Church as she is to be perfected in the world to come. Therefore, Immaculate Mother of the Church, we now confidently turn to you and ask you to obtain from your holy and beloved Son the favors we request in this novena. You mention your requests in silence. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, before you be stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you.